Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charlie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious and moist chocolate pound cake from scratch. So, let's get started. Okay, this is all what you're going to need to make your chocolate pound cake, and we're going to get started with our ingredients. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, sugar, brown sugar, unsalted butter at room temperature, eggs at room temperature, sweetened or unsweetened cocoa powder, four ounces of sweetened or unsweetened baking chocolate, instant decaf coffee, baking powder, baking soda, vanilla extract, sour cream at room temperature, hot water, and some confectioner sugar. And I forgot to mention that you're going to need some whole milk for this recipe. And to bake our chocolate pound cake, you're going to need some Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray and a Nordic Ware anniversary bunt pan. And there we have it. Let's get straight to it. Add three cups of all purpose flour one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one fourth cup of sweetened or unsweetened cocoa powder. Sift all ingredients into a large bowl. Stir all ingredients together. In our stand mixer with the paddle attachment, Add three sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature, one one half cups of sugar, one one half cups of brown sugar. Mix all ingredients together and you're going to mix all ingredients on high speed for five minutes. At some point during those five minutes you're going to stop your mixer you're going to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Continue mixing ingredients. And that's it. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Now we're going to add five eggs in one at a time. You're going to start your mixer on medium high speed. You're going to add the first egg in. Make sure all ingredients are incorporated before adding the next egg. Add the second egg in. We're going to add the third egg in there. Oops, made a little mistake. We added we added the third and the fourth egg in at the same time, but that's okay. You're just going to continue to mix that in. My mistake. Now we're going to add the fifth egg in. Now we're going to go ahead and scrape down the sides of our bowl. Now to make sure that everything is mixed in, we're going to mix this on medium high speed for about 30 seconds. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Spray your bunt pan with non-stick baking spray. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Here I have three ounces of baking chocolate. We're going to take the chocolate and we're going to break it into medium sized chunks. You're going to reserve a half an ounce of baking chocolate for your icing. Now you're going to take a knife and you're going to chop the chocolate into small pieces. You 
We're going to place the chocolate into a small bowl. You're going to place it into the microwave. And you're going to melt this on high for 1 minute and 40 seconds. And there is our chocolate. Now we're going to stir this in. Now while you're stirring it, the chocolate should melt completely. If not, you're going to place it back into the microwave and you're going to heat it for about 10 to 15 seconds. And this is how the chocolate looks once it has completely melted. It's nice smooth texture. Exactly what we want. Add 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. And to that we're going to add 3 ounces of baking chocolate. And you want to make sure that this baking chocolate is melted. Mix all ingredients together. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. And as you can see, that's a nice light chocolate color. In this measuring cup, I have a half a cup of hot water. And to that we're going to add one heaping tablespoon of instant decaf coffee. We're going to stir that in. Now we're going to alternate our chocolate flour mixture and our sour cream mixture. Add one cup of your chocolate flour mixture. and one third cup of sour cream. Mix all ingredients together. Add one cup of your chocolate flour mixture. and one third cup of sour cream. Mix all ingredients together. Add one cup of your chocolate flour mixture and one third cup of sour cream. Mix all ingredients together. Add your coffee mixture. Mix all ingredients together until well combined. And we're done. Our chocolate pound cake batter is now ready. As you can see, that's a nice light chocolate color. Pour your chocolate pound cake batter into your prepared bunt pan. Using the back of a spoon, spread your cake batter around your pan as evenly as possible. 
you're going to lightly shake your pan. You're also going to give it a little tap on your table. This will make the batter evenly in your bunt pan. Now it is ready to be baked. Place into a preheated 325 degree oven and you're going to bake this for 1 hour and 20 minutes. After 1 hour and 20 minutes you're going to remove your chocolate pound cake out of the oven. We're going to do a toothpick test, insert it, and it should come out clean. You're going to let this cake cool for about 3 to 4 hours before you flip it. It's been about 3 to 4 hours now. We're going to flip our cake over. And that turned out pretty nice. Looks good. To make your chocolate frosting, add one one eighth cup of confection sugar, one eighth cup of sweetened or unsweetened cocoa powder, three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, three tablespoons of warm milk, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half an ounce of baking chocolate and you want to make sure that your baking chocolate is melted and you're going to stir this until all lumps have been removed and your icing is nice and smooth and this is how your icing will look once it is done as you can see it's a nice smooth consistency now if it, if it is too runny you're going to add about a extra tablespoon of confection sugar and you're gonna stir it until all lumps have been removed. Pour your chocolate frosting on top of your cake. Wow, that turned out really nice. Looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut your slice. Wow, look at how beautiful and moist that looks. Mm -mm -mm. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Chocolate pound cake made from scratch. Ah! Now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Oh man, so exciting. Here goes nothing. Man, the cake is nice, soft, moist, and then you have that wonderful chocolate flavor from the icing and from the cake. Oh boy, it is good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. I'm telling y'all, it's really, really good. And I'm not even a big fan of chocolate cake like that. So, try the recipe. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, chocolate pound cake made from scratch by a New Orleans native. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like up, subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy all of my delicious recipes cooked right here in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please post them or you can email me at charliethecookandrews at gmail.com. You can also like or contact me on Facebook. 
www.facebook.com slash Charlie the Cook Andrews. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charliecookandrews.webs.com and if you want to donate to the channel check out the links in the description box and it'll take you step by step on how to donate. So until next time take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye bye.